Microsoft Surface 7 Pro. The best tablet to replace your laptop isn't always the newest. That's why the Microsoft Surface Pro, even though it's probably the newest tab of the bunch, won't top this list. But it does make an appearance, which tells you all you need to know about how good it is. First off, the Microsoft Surface Pro is the first of its kind to use Intel's new 10 nanometer processors. This makes it faster and smoother to operate than most tabs on the market. It also comes with better graphics potential, as it has Intel Iris Plus graphics over an Intel UHD graphics processor, GPU. This means that it would be excellent for streaming, especially at higher resolutions, and would offer an expanded gaming profile. This tab will easily perform most ordinary computing tasks, and will definitely be able to multitask heavily. The graphics capacity will also help digital artists get a lot of work done. Now this isn't to say that graphics are particularly high-end, but if you need to get something that doesn't require heavy lifting done, well this is the tab for you. Like every Microsoft Surface before it, this tab isn't necessarily the bastion of software. And that isn't necessarily a bad thing. One pro of the tab's lacking software is that there's practically no bloatware on it at all, as everything on the tab is directly from Microsoft. However, one con is that there's nothing distinctive about the software of the tab. Number Samsung two. Galaxy Tab S7 Plus is Samsung's most powerful tab yet. It comes with the fastest processor on the Android platform, the Qualcomm Snapdragon 865 Plus, and is backed up by either 6GB RAM or 8GB of RAM. The tab also comes with 120Hz display that will make this one of the smoothest Android tablet experiences you'll ever get. In normal Samsung fashion, this tab comes with a choice of 128GB or 256GB of storage, and this can be expanded up to 1TB with a microSD card. This tablet comes with 4 speakers, which is pretty cool, so it's a pretty decent device for watching films and playing games, just like with most laptops. There are variants of the tab that is 5G compatible, and some also come with SIM slots. There's an 8 megapixel front-facing camera that just sits at the top of the tab when it is in landscape mode, making it ideal for Zoom meetings and work calls, just like a regular laptop. This mode is more suitable for video calls, as our eyeline was more suited to where the camera was situated. The back of the tab has a dual camera setup, with a 13 megapixel camera joined by a 5 megapixel ultra-wide camera. So if you want to take photos with your tab, well this camera will get you photos of the highest quality. There are also lots of different camera modes like like focus, night, pro video, and single take. These are all features that Samsung released with the S20 series. And yeah, it's difficult to find a laptop with camera options as good and as robust. However, it's not all sunshine and rainbows for the Samsung tab. There's a problem with the software. Well, it's not a problem. It's more like a lack of software for there to be a problem with. Okay, let's explain. Most developers focus on making software for phone screens, not wide tablets. So there are so many apps that you may be able to get on a regular Android phone, but you wouldn't be able to get on a laptop. Microsoft Surface Go. The Microsoft Surface Go is so small that any smaller, it would have passed for a Samsung Note. It is a screen size of just around 10 inches, which is pretty small for a tab. But don't let the size of the Surface Go deceive you. It could replace your laptop if you let it. The small size tablet packs everything we'd like in the perfect tab in a tiny frame that's also affordable. Well, relatively, of course. Despite being pretty small, it still comes with a USB-C port and a micro SD card reader, something that the iPad Pro doesn't come with. The graphics is surprisingly good too, with a 1800 by 1200 resolution. Now this is not the best on the market, with the iPad offering better, but it's certainly up there with the best. The colors are very accurate and it's a joy to stream on. The Surface Go has some pretty thick bezels, but they aren't entirely useless. The speakers of the tab reside in the bezels on both sides of the screen, and they're surprisingly very powerful. Now let's check what's under the hood. Okay, first things first, you can't expect a 10-inch tab to be a powerhouse. If you need a powerhouse that can run 100 tasks without getting as hot as a supermodel, you should probably get a proper laptop. However, if you can manage with a mid-range laptop performance, well, this tab will serve you just well. The tab comes with an Intel Pentium Gold processor that can more than handle basic workloads like word processing and casual gaming with ease. With the 8GB model, you can even run several tab worth of projects and websites and media players. However, 
Don't expect the tab to manage high-resolution video editing or high-level gaming. It simply can't.